Floating CSS block elements. To help understand the CSS float of block elements, we're going to imagine that the browser window is a three-dimensional fish tank filled with water. In this example, we'll be using four div tags called red, green, blue, and yellow that have been styled using CSS and are all the same size. By default, there's no float on any of these block elements. This means that they sink to the bottom of the fish tank and stack one below the other on the left-hand side. Floating one element. If you apply float to one element, it will cause it to rise above the normal stacking order. Here we'll apply float left to the first block, the red one. This will cause the red block to float above the others. The others will move up to fill the gap. Looking down on the browser window, the green block will seem to disappear because it's underneath the red one. Floating multiple elements. Floating one block element after another will cause these elements to float together side by side. First we'll apply float to the green block. It will rise up and line up next to the red block. Notice the others move up underneath. Next we'll apply float left to the blue block. It rises up next to the green block and the yellow block moves underneath. And finally we'll apply float left to the yellow block. Predictably this floats up next to the blue one. So far so good. But what if you want to float some elements below this line of elements that we've got on the screen? This is where the CSS clear property is used. Float with clear. The clear property means that floating elements are not allowed on that side. Clear left means no floating elements are allowed on the left. In effect, it clears the effect of the float from a previous element. So let's look at our example and add a clear left to the blue block. It still wants to float, but not with something on the left side, so it moves down to below the red one and the yellow one follows. If we want the yellow one below the blue one, we can apply clear left to the yellow one as well. Now it pops down to below the blue one. Once you get the idea of float and clear, you can start to build complex layouts. Try this yourself to figure out how this works. Remember, you can put floating elements inside non-floating block elements.